you wanted to talk to me. First things first. What's going on? You spilled the blood of my family. Now you pay in blood. There was nothing that I could do to save Duran. That's because you set him up! You can either die a liar or an honest man. I swear to you, I did not set anyone up. Let him go, Cassandra. Stay out of this. We need to find out what he knows. Use the mind probe. I guess you'll die an honest man after all. ID doesn't work. I don't have a parking space. My voicemail hasn't been activated. Hey, come on, it's your first day on the job. Just float, all right? Payroll has me listed as Samuel Houston, Jake. Well, you've been keeping something from me? Huh. Nika, could you have payroll change my name over to Ms. Sam Houston? Well, a sex change operation would be easier. <laughs> Great. Jake. Oh, man, my cover was blown. Man. They got me wired. Don't move. Stand back. Robert Blooming was on special assignment to the Lisbon office. That's what Bascom wanted you to think. It was safer that way. I guess it wasn't safe enough. Blooming infiltrated the Delamo family. That's incredible. When I was on the force, we couldn't get anybody on the inside. That's because the Delamos aren't your typical tech lords. They may deal in tech, but they are an old-style mafia family. Yeah, one of the few that survived the gang wars of 98. Cassandra Delamo has become a major player in the tech game. I'd like to cramp her style. Well, it's your lucky day. Bascom wants to do another undercover operation. He thinks you're perfect for it. Well, he's right. You're being too modest. Oh, come on. How can I give away confidential information if I don't even know my parking spot? That's a good point. Well, let's get busy. Well, not so fast. Medic just said that Robert's brain was fried by the mind probe. Same thing can happen to you. Not necessarily. The technology is called mind sculpting. We take what is repressed or buried in an identity and construct uh, a whole new secondary personality. For this assignment, we've built on what is euphemistically called your dark side. Ooh, <laughs> this should be good. Who exactly did you build? Oh, Sabrina Daniels. She has your intelligence, your skills, but she's an outlaw. You um, obey the rules, she breaks them. You're her control on this assignment, Mr. Cardigan. You'll be the first to meet her. Oh, I can't wait. We've, uh, we've given Sabrina the memory that her father used to work for the Delamo family. She also speaks Spanish fluently. Both will score you points with Cassandra. So how do we set up the cover? Uh, Michael Delamo was arrested yesterday. Cassandra's cousin. Exactly. You'll be placed in lockup with him. We've embedded the suggestion in Sabrina's subconscious that breaking Michael out will buy her a job with the Delamos. And what happens after she breaks out? You'll rendezvous with her every eight hours for a debriefing. I don't want to sound uh, skeptical or anything, Doctor, but uh, how often do hardened criminals keep appointments with Cosmos operatives? Sabrina has a nicotine habit. She has an itch she has to scratch every eight hours. Uh, you'll meet at uh, Charlie's. 
Now, how do I get her to talk? You mean you can't charm your way to my lecherous heart? Oh, this will make it easier. This is an alpha wave oscillator. It will stimulate your dormant personality and put Sabrina, the sculpted personality, into a sleep state. You'll be able to brief Cardigan because you'll remember everything that happened while Sabrina was dominant. And what if she doesn't show up for the run-in? Well, the data isn't conclusive. Hypothetically speaking, if uh, you aren't released from the sleep state at regular eight-hour intervals, there is a danger that the uh, sculpted identity might take over or cause permanent schizophrenia. Commence imprinting sequence. Imprinting sequence commenced. Alright, you just keep your mouth shut. Ah! Ah! She's a live one. What crime has she committed? I want a lawyer, Mechmouse. She was trying to break into the security system. Caught her red-handed. She was carrying a needle gun, hand shocker, magna rifle, some kind of lead spitter I'd never seen before. It's called a coat. Lingering. Isn't she charming? We'll take her to lockup. I believe I was quite convincing. Not as convincing as her. For the record, the only reason I am cooperating with Cosmos is because I have been ordered to provide assistance. I thought you were doing it for me. I do not approve of your unorthodox approach in this matter. Hey, you're breaking my heart, big buddy. Deactivate. Activate. You're Michael Delamo, right? Maybe. So what are you in here for, Manito? Huh? Stealing cookies. You first. My boss set me up. Why? Oh, what, are you stupid or something? He didn't want to take the fall, so he fingered me. I gotta get out of here before they ship me to the ice house. There's no way to break out of here. Watch me. Can you get me out too? Well, that depends on what you got to offer. What do you want? A job with your family. now or never, amigo. Deal. The prosecutor is here for your arraignment. Deactivate. Delamo took the bait. I thought the bars weren't supposed to be live. They needed a minimal charge in order to create an authentic illusion. Yeah, I knew police cooperation was going to be trouble. Then perhaps you won't require further assistance. You know, it's the best idea you've had all day. The problem is Ian, Papa. Why can't you two get along? Because he questions every decision that I make. He cuts deals with the tech lords. All he cares about is class. An individual's worth isn't measured in credits, it's measured in character. You know that. 
He says that I'm holding us back because I hang on to grudges. Be patient with him. Forgive and forget. You can't let anything come between the two of you. I know, Papa, but he... The tech lords hit hard on us, Cassandra, but we survived because we are a family, a proud family. Loyalty is what has kept us together for over a century. You've kept us together, Papa. And now it's up to you. Are you through? What is it, Ian? Business. Remember? What we do for a living? Constantine wants in. Every tech lord wants in. Cassandra, he controls New Cuba. He stole our territory. No, we gave it away when you wouldn't change distributors. Well, we take care of our people. Even if it costs us? That's the way I run the business. Because that's the way Papa ran the business? He's the head of this family. Papa died 20 years ago. VR is just a program. That's enough. Times are different. It's a new world. I said that's enough. How about thinking on your own for a change? Miguel Dalamo wishes to see you. Miguel? He's out. <laughs> I thought we lost you. Oh. <laughs> you would have if it wasn't for Sabrina. Really? What did she do? Uh, she took out an android. You should have seen her. She's amazing. Well, we're deeply indebted to you, Sabrina. Damn straight. I'm here to collect. Collect what? Uh, Sabrina doesn't mean any disrespect. She got me out of lockup. So I promised her a job with the family. Let's start with your full name first. Sabrina Daniels. Why are you here, Sabrina Daniels? I need a job. You need me. What could you possibly do for me? Word is you're planning a major break-in. I'm an expert. Any illegal habits, like tech? No. <laughs> Try again. Nicotine, I smoke. Podemos hablar negocio. Con confianza. My father worked for your family. He taught me that the Lama way was loyalty first. He was right. My last boss set me up. He's not getting a second chance. You protect your own, so put me to work or waste me now. Quítenle esa cosa. Now, do I have a job? Almost. Vente. Nobody could steal without my approval. Not even my cousin. Kill him. It's a shame to waste antique bullets. <laughs> Turn off the security field. Do it now. Then I love. What the hell's going on? Well, just like you said, Amiga. It isn't worth wasting an antique. Welcome to the family. So I hear the jailbreak went off without a hitch. Are you kidding me? She tried to kill me. Well, it's understandable. She thought you're an attorney. <laughs> Good one. You know, this, uh, this mind sculpting stuff, risky business, too many wild cards. Well, from what you've told me, it's working perfectly. Well, just do a cyber trace on Cassandra. I think the sooner we get Sam out of here, the better. I need more soldiers. Murphy and Braddock aren't enough. You have Serena. She's one hell of a soldier. Not enough. Some people worry too much. That means you're willing to take the bullet if you screw up? I don't screw up. You have potential. Glad to see you figured that out. You know security systems, right? I already told you I was an expert. Can you bypass a C-12 system? Expert? 
You got a surge monitor, a cyber bypass, an electroprobe, and a hypersonic drill? He would have known a hypersonic drill if it bit him in the ass. <laughs> I'll pick him up for you. It'll run 400 credits. That include enough blasts for smoke? What if it does? Just don't bring it home. Cigarillo for the uh, lady in the peekaboo pants. Thanks. You have expensive taste. Pay for. So, what is it you're buying? Good time with a pretty lady. I have a pistol under this table aimed at a very private part of your anatomy. So, if you don't come clean, I'm gonna light up all the balls on your Christmas tree. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but, uh, no problem. Jesus, Sam, just take it easy. It's okay, just a little lover spat. Go on, go back to your smoke. Take it easy, Sam, just breathe, okay? Breathe. Flesh. How did I... What the hell am I wearing? Yeah, it's the new you. I can't believe it worked. Yeah, like gangbusters. It's your pistol under the table. Yeah, I remember aiming it at you. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Me neither. Now I remember. I, Sabrina needed a nicotine fix. Jake, I really was her. I helped Michael DeLamo break out of jail. Yeah, with a little help from your friends. But he's wanted in three different countries for murder. Sam, it's a setup. Right? Right. Right. I passed the mind probe test. I got my first assignment. Which is? I have to bypass a C-12 security system. Do you know when or where? Uh, no. Did Nika come up with anything? Well, she just confirmed what we already knew. But Cassandra's been getting calls from every tech lord in town. That means there's something big about to break. Okay, well, you'll have to keep telling me. No, I think we should call it a day. No, I don't have anything yet. Well, that's the point. I mean, you're taking an incredible risk for what? Maybe nothing. They need me to break in. And once you get in there, what's going to stop them from killing you? You take the risk. That doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. No, it means it's the only thing to do. All right, so, you ready? seconds to shut down the security system.
I don't know. Come on. Did you hear something? No. Let's move! You tracking her? She seems to have reached her destination. Which is? Kirik Enterprises. Damn it. Winger is right behind you. I'll take it from here, Cardigan. No way. I want you to cooperate with me on this one, Winger. I aided in creating a convincing cover for your operative. My responsibilities have been discharged regarding your investigation. You know, you're about to blow the entire operation. A break-in was reported. I am merely responding to a routine call. Winger! Damn it! Mechanical idiot. All clear. Looks like we're going for a ride. The address is 2157. You know how to work this thing? No, but it comes with directions. Where are they? This is too easy. Twenty-one fifty-seven. The only things in here are alpha numeric codes. Just upload the data and cover your tracks. Done. I've never seen anyone fly like you before. Something's wrong. What, are you kidding? You were great. No, someone followed us. Someone's here. Who? I don't know. She's right. We have to get out now. We need a diversion. If you're thinking of throwing me to the wolf sprite boy, forget it. The data chip's no good without me. That's a crock. I encrypted it with a signature code. I'm the only one that can access the information. Oh, you're bluffing. Then go ahead. Leave me here. They passed the security checkpoint. Better throw me a gun, amigo. You need all the help you can get. Come on in. Vault 97 for me and my friend. We'll make that two more, Gino. Find your own action tonight, boy. It's this lady's night. Since when? No me molestas, hermanito. Sabrina saved your sorry ass back there. And she and I have business to discuss. But she's not family. She is now. You aided and abetted known felons in the commission of a crime. You tried to shoot my partner. She knew the risk involved when she took the assignment. She didn't know that you were going to be trigger happy, Winger. I'm placing you under arrest. For what? For saving my partner? Cuff him. Don't touch me. Cuff him. I don't think so. Magistrate's orders. In regards to the Delamo investigation, local police authority have no jurisdiction over Cosmos. The magistrate's judgment is greatly impaired. Don't call us. We'll call you. It's good to see you live and in person. And you think I'd miss a chance to stick it to Winger? Here's to a job well done. And to getting a little. <laughs> You've got a way with words. No, I have a way with everything. Well, name it, amiga. Any man in the house. They're already paid for. Yeah, well, not much to choose from. <laughs> you know, I haven't quite got you figured out yet. What's your angle? Maybe I don't have one. Well, what do you want? Everything you have. To fit in. A 
family. Well then, viva la familia. A la familia. My father had great respect for your family. He was loyal to the Delamos. To Alonzo Delamo, the father of a great legacy. Must have been hard to lose him. I never lost him because I keep him in here. And in here. Ian doesn't think like you do. Ian's different. Anything for a quick score. But a person's worth isn't measured in credits. It's measured in character. Didn't your father teach him what he taught you? No. I was the first born, the heir to the throne. Ian was too young when Papa died. What is it was a setup? Ramon La Vista. His right hand man. Caesar fell at the hands of Brutus. La Vista sold him out to the gang alliance for two kilometers of territory. Two. They were having dinner. And Papa got up to shake hands. And that bastard put a bullet through his heart. While Mama watched. And then La Vista killed Mama while I watched. You were there. I was outside at the window looking in. I was only 13 years old, but I knew one day I would bring La Vista down. It took me five years to get to him. I strangled him with my bare hands. And then I strangled his wife and I made his daughter watch. And then I killed her too. Rest in peace, Mama. I would have done the same. I just got a hot tip. Not now, Mikey. It's from a reliable source, okay? The guy's got contacts on the forest. Oh, he saw you tickets to the policeman's ball? The jailbreak was a setup. You've had too much to drink, cousin. A cop who works the precinct said he recognized Sabrina. Her real name is Sam Houston. She's a police lieutenant. And you're sure this is a reliable source? I'm positive. We gotta talk to Sandra. No. Not until we have all the pieces. Sounds crazy, but Sabrina had a hunch we were being followed. That's why we were ready for you and Winter. My mind is bleeding into her subconscious. Well, Cole never said anything about mind bleeding. Yeah, well, it's experimental technology, remember? On some level, Sabrina knows she's being used as a double agent. Sabrina's on to us, Jake. She's protecting Cassandra. Boy, I gotta hand it to you, Sam. Even your dark side is true blue. To a mob family. Well, nobody's perfect. Hey, did Nika get anything on that alphanumeric key I stole from the lab? Yeah, she hit the jackpot. It's half of a double key security system. We're guessing that Cassandra's got the other key. But Kirik's a salvage company. What are they doing with a mega security system? One of the things they salvage? Weapon systems. Repair them, then they sell them. So where do they store the weapons? Well, that's what I was hoping you could tell me. We move in eight hours. You're not going back. <laughs> I'm not quitting now. Come on. I mean, if Sabrina knows about us, you can run into all sorts of trouble. I say you get out now. Yeah, and if the Delamos get their hands on a weapon system, we're all in big trouble. Well, what are you going to do? You're just going to take on the world all by yourself? No. I've got you to back me up. You have a visitor, Dr. Cole. Top priority clearance. Release the door, Leslie. Victor Cole, how can I help you? I've been doing some research on personality manipulation. You come very highly recommended. By whom? Sam Houston. And Sabrina Daniels. Who are you? Ah, now that would be telling. 
No more fighting, no more stolen territory. Those bastard Teklors will finally answer to us. Indeed, Chahira. I'm proud of you. Gracias, Papa. Now maybe you'll find time to settle down and get a husband who will take care of you. Yo puedo cuidarme. What about the family? Ian has two kids. What about your own family? We'll talk about that next time. Say a prayer for me, Papa. Vaya con Dios, Anelita. What do you mean Sam won't come in? Well, she said no. Oh, great. It's only her second day on the job, and already she's as stubborn as you. She's learning from the best. That wasn't a compliment. They patched me through to Victor Cole. I want to talk to him about this mind bleed. Do I look like Ma Bell? I tried calling myself 20 minutes ago. Flagged the message top priority. Well, your message was received. Do you have any idea where he was when he received it? Yeah, he was at his lab. He should have called you back. All right, well, you know where I'll be. You're a very truthful man, Dr. Cole. <sighs> uh, call me a pragmatist. I know how uh, powerful a mind probe is. Do you mind if I ask you just one more question? <sighs> Anything you'd like. What happens if the Cosmos operative misses her meeting with Cardigan in his little black box? Well, the personalities will struggle for dominance. One will triumph. This mind sculpting technology is revolutionary. You're a brilliant man, Dr. Cole. We're both good at what we do. I understand you've been very successful keeping the tech lords in line. Well, I do my best. If, uh, if you're interested in cutting a deal, I've got information on Cosmos. Like, uh, what? Do we have a deal or don't we? Afraid not. Why the hell did you do that? Because he doesn't have anything we need. And how do you know? If he sold out Cosmos, he'd sell us out too. So what do we do about Sabrina? Oh, we need her to access the security system. She's a Cosmos agent. Half of her is. The other half belongs to us. Sabrina understands our code of honor. We keep her, but we get rid of Sam Houston. How? We start by eliminating Cardigan in his black box. By now, Cardigan has to know Cole's missing. He's all yours. According to the cyber model, the occurrence of dementia falls within a statistically significant range. Field testing is necessary to achieve accurate data and will commence immediately. The uh, first test subject's name is Sam Houston. End of journalisting. Nikki, hear me? Did you find Dr. Cole? No, but I found his journal. He lied. About what? About this mind sculpting procedure. This isn't a little dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. Cole hasn't returned any of my pages. All right, well, when you find him, call me. Don't move. Take out the control device and put it on the floor. Put it on the floor. Slide it over. Still there? Yeah. My readout says you're still at the lab. I thought you said you were leaving. Yeah, well, I got a little sidetracked. You don't look so good. I'm fine. I just want to keep this piece of meat alive so we can answer some questions. Cavalry's on its way. Great. <laughs> you may have won the battle card again, but I won the war. Cole's dead, and your toy is broken. <laughs> you lost Sam Houston for good. <laughs> 
Busted cyber code. Well, I thought you would have come up with that one on your own. Let's check this baby out with Sam's. Got it. The wilderness facility. Well, it's a full armory. Nuclear weapons, laser tanks, the works. This place is being run by a maintenance crew. Just waiting to be hit. Jake, Sam is four hours overdue for a check-in. I know. Welcome to Kirik Enterprises. Please explain the purpose of your visit. That should explain. I insert my cyber key from here. You insert your key from weapons control. That's how we get into the weaponry bay. We'll have access to live nuclear systems. I knew this was a bad idea. Listen to me. When we're through here, there'll be no more tech wars. No one will dare challenge us. The Lamo family will rule. Your family. You're part of us now, Sabrina. Where's the weapons control room? Two levels down. Signal me when you get there. Go with her. They're here. Hey, you'll need to get to the weapon room. I don't see a trail of breadcrumbs. Okay, according to the plans on file, there's a lift down the hallway. Got it. Take it to level two. Back 
Come on, let's get out of here. She won't answer. Try again. Sabrina responds. You gotta fight it, Sam. You gotta fight it! Sabrina, respond. Your name is Sam Houston. You were a cop for eight years. You work for Cosmos Security. I work for the De Lamos family! De Lamo has killed innocent people for a hundred years, Sam. For a hundred years, we've got to stop it. You and me. I'm loyal to the Lamo family. No, Sandro is a cold-blooded killer, like her father and her grandfather. They don't care about human life. They don't care about the law. They don't care about anything. You're not one of them. Yes, I am. I'm free. No. Uh -uh. Cassandra. Cassandra's got control of you, Sam. I'm not Sam. I'm Sabrina. Damn you. Let go of Sabrina. You're going to die. Jake, what's going on? Talk about it later. We'll talk about it now. Come to me, Sabrina. Don't listen to him, Sam. Shut up. You're Cassandra, aren't you? You get in the cyber rig. Now! Don't do it. Get away from her. I feel like I know you. You do. As well as you know yourself. No. You don't belong with him! You belong with us. Come back to us, Sabrina. Regresa conmigo. I'm not Sabrina. Can we get on with this? Nothing we could do, Sam. I'm coming, Papa. It's our first day, I said. At least I got my parking spot. No, you got my parking spot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Didn't have to do that. No. We're partners. So the med techs check you out? Yeah, Sabrina's gone. Still don't know how you pulled me through. No, I didn't pull you through. You pulled yourself through. Sabrina wasn't brave enough to die. Sam was. I could have let Sabrina take over. It would have been really easy to let her win. Part of me wanted to. Yeah, but you didn't. Beat your own demons. Could have gone the other way. That's what scares me. Let's get out of here. 